Asterix and Obelix are at it again. The 35th book of their adventures has been released, and this time the kilt-wearing Gauls are in Scotland with lashings of whiskey and hooting bagpipes. Fans have waited four years for their wild boar-loving barbarians to make an appearance again. It's the first of Asterix's stories to be written and illustrated by people other than the original creators, Albert Uderzo and René Gossin. And with Asterix and Obelix pushing 50, retirement looks like a long way away. Isham Brite's father began collecting the stories decades ago, and now Isham continues the tradition. At the age of 30, he started to read the great classics, Tintin, Lucky Luke, Asterix. But Isham's daughter is less impressed. They don't allow you to imagine the characters and to enter their world entirely. Paris has dedicated an exhibit to Asterix. And judging by the cues, he's a national hero in France for all generations. At first I watched the series, and then I got interested in the comic books. Often it's passed from one generation to the next. There is the generation that discovered Asterix in the first editions back in 1961 in the library, and then the next generation rediscover him in these same books. The books have sold 350 million copies, the equivalent of 766 times the height of the Eiffel Tower. It may be nearly half a century since Asterix's debut, but he's as popular as ever.